Good morning everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and yes, I've been away for a long sabbatical of about six weeks, but we came back this week and we've been getting back into our groove, and uh, yeah, let's just say, it took me a little while to get back into that groove, but you should beware the underdog, because this one turns into a bit of a smasher, but there's some things I wanted to point out on a Destroyer gameplay, so if you're new to playing DDs, check this out we're here in the tier 6 premium z35 we've got blue ferrara as our captain who gives us a little bit of destroyer speed and we are running mosquito brutes i used to think that was called mosquito bites now that greatly reduces our torpedo reload time but also our torpedo damage we then got a look at me now to reduce our detectability and we are pretty high level on this one so it's maxed out and then we've got perceptive i know a lot of people don't play destroyers with twist and track or perceptive but i like to use it Moving on, we've got the smoke on the water, which just gives our smoke screens that just little bit of extra time when we're uh, dropping that. And then moving on to our legendary skill, we have got unstoppable. Very useful if you get your engines knocked out by a red team ship. And then for our inspirations, we're running Eric Bay, who is at 16-4. And then, last but not least, we've got Jersey Swirsky, who is at 16.3. So we're almost at maximum concealment. And even though Wargaming have been nerfing the concealment of commanders, it's still half decent. Modules-wise, we've got Aiming Systems Mod 1 to reduce our dispersion and help our torpedoes turn a little bit quicker. Then we have got Steering Gears Mod 2 to reduce our rudder time by 20%. Moving on to the third module, we're running Concealment System Mod 1. Um, again, we're just playing stealthy, flexible build on this. And let's get into the gameplay. The match has just begun. I'm out here on the left flank. There are four destroyers on each team and yeah a carrier i love carriers i absolutely love carriers i think you can get from the tone of voice there that i absolutely hate carriers and don't love them at all but you'll see that we are running on just on 5k concealment on this one so we're on par with probably anybody else that's running a ninja boat we have got a japanese boat out there but we've also got two red team destroyers running in division and those guys i think it's a Cossack and a jervis they both have sonar now i also have a sonar and my sonar is a longer range than theirs but we're out on this flank we're pinging the map and I'm playing this flank because we've got the carrier here. I know that ships in carrier games at mid-tier and low-tier like to charge a flank and try and kill the carrier. Um, it's not, it's really not the best approach to a game. If there's lots of red team ships still on the map and you're a destroyer, please don't go chasing the carrier and we'll see why. A little bit later on so this akatsuki is behind the rock he's got himself spotted by the carrier i'm letting him come into my sonar range we're putting the torpedoes out there restrict his movement we're going to drop our smoke and bait him into firing his torpedoes and here they come they're on the way but my torpedoes have already been sent i'm i'm five seconds ahead of this guy the carrier is going to keep him spotted, lands a torpedo. We have got another battleship out there. And I'm just going to move out of this smoke, try and keep this guy in my sonar so he doesn't drop detection. Blue team are shooting at him. That's really, really nice to see. And here we go. Boom. Land some on him again, and we're going to keep on him because we know there's only a battleship out here, and that is the first red team destroyer off the map. 
Now you'll see on the minimap that the two blue team destroyers that started in the center have both come across this way as well. And our left flank is very much exposed. And this is why I say you should always keep an eye on the minimap and see what is going on because we lost our destroyer out there. And the fact that there's two destroyers very close together is telling me that that is the Cossack and the Jervis. And another destroyer has just popped up there as well. So I'm thinking, We've got three destroyers on that side of the map. We've got an open flank. We've got two big ships out there. Uh, well, we've got one big ship out there now. Um, and there's a chance we're going to get three destroyers push that flank very, very hard indeed. So I'm going to head back across. And you'll see my mic flashing up through this game. And I'm like, come on, guys. Pay attention to the minimap. Look at what's going on. We've got three destroyers and a battleship pushing our right flank. You know, it's open. We've got one battleship there. The carrier should be paying attention to that as well. I've got the attention of Red Team's carrier. And so I'm going to have to play torpedo dodging here. And um, it takes a little bit of skill. We're trying to we're trying to bait him into a drop and then we're going to, going to slam the engines in reverse and although the AA isn't awesome on this ship just being able to take down a plane or two is enough to whittle away at his capability and here he comes again coming around for another go He's going to do the drop, single torpedo, misses that one, and I'm going to continue to push back towards our cap. Now it is early morning, and uh, I have got a cup of coffee on the go, so you'll have to excuse me if I mute my mic for a second and just take a big swig of coffee. Now you look at the minimap now and you know I'm pinging it and I'm saying hey you know look here we we have got three destroyers there we've got a battleship the flank is wide open with three ships down to one and we've lost two battleships there is a cruiser hanging at the back of the map with the carrier and the Vauquelin and the Benson are both pushing down I think they're both trying to go for a carrier kill and I'm like guys come on you know don't do this don't be dumb you know the cruiser is protecting the carrier you're going to run headlong into him get yourselves to the center of the map cover that try and pick up those capital ships and one of the guys comes up on the mics and he just goes will you shut the hell up and i'm like look look at what's going on on the map you know you you completely out of position you're overextended you don't have support you're going to die they ignored me they say that they're trying to go for the cap there are eight ships left in the game one of which is a carrier even if you get on the cap all it's going to take is for one ship to keep that cap contested your smoke screen is going to run out Vauquelin doesn't even have a smoke screen and they're just going to wipe the floor with us. We're 200 points down. We're what? Six minutes into the game? I'm going to try and do what I can to defend our cap. I'm going to do everything that I can to try and, well, damage limitation. There's a Normandy. I can see one destroyer. And I'm thinking, yeah, they're, they're just pushing straight up this flank. They know it's open. They're coming for the cap. Our two destroyers, meanwhile, are still trying to push that flank. And it's like, it's a lost cause. It's a lost cause. And I feel very, very lonely pulling back to the cap like this. The carrier realizes that the flank is being pushed, but he's focusing on the center of the map, on the big ships. He's not looking for where these destroyers are. There's one of them, and I'm trying to sort of figure out where he is. I can see him, and I was like, where the hell is he? And then the Vauquelin pops up, and I'm like, okay, 
let them get a little bit closer we're going to use the z35 trick of smoke and sonar so he's within 5k's my sonar's on my smoke's up he's obviously going to torpedo my smoke screen i'm going to try and steer guns on him as much as i can so the vorkwillens there we know we've got one other destroyer there We've got the battleship pushing in on our right. We've got another battleship pushing in the center. We've got a full health Cossack there has just appeared in front of us. And that means that the Jervis is going to be with him too. It is four on one, three of which are destroyers. There's one down. Forget the Cossack for now. Jervis is low health. We're going to play guns. We're going to do what we can to get guns off the map. So this guy is low health. He is the priority target. I'm on sonar now, that could be the Jervis or the Kozak. Two destroyers down, one left. We're going to hit torps, put those out there, try and restrict his movement. I'm trying to stay bow on to the battleship to my front, stay in guns on this Kozak. Torpedo takes him out for a dev strike. And now we are going to stop shooting. I'm broadside to this Normandy. I'm expecting to get deleted. But he's got armor piercing loaded. We lose a chunk of health, but it's not enough to kill us. So we are turning and we are going to go as fast as we can away from him. His secondaries are onto us as well. This does not board well. But we have just gone up against three destroyers and we have come out on top and I was not expecting to survive that and uh, matey boy Jester in uh, one of the destroyers he's across there on the three o'clock of the minimap the Vorkulin is on the cap about to be killed by the carrier and the cruiser complete waste of time pushing down that far this guy jester i'm saying i've got three destroyers i've got two battleships i'm on the cap you know i'm going to try and defend and he's like what can't you handle it and starts laughing at my predicament um he was very quiet after i killed those three destroyers um he didn't have much to say so yeah humble pie i think they call it but here we go. I should have spread my torpedoes a little bit better. We um, do get rid of one team, one red team battleship. The Normandy is turning and going away because he was feeling all brave with three destroyers in front of him. And now he's not feeling brave at all. Now I know there's a little island here to my front just there and i can keep on this guy for as long as possible try and get some fires on him try and get some burns on him move turn the carriers on him as well we're on four kills we have literally dispatched all four red team destroyers from this game single well say single-handedly they had taken some damage elsewhere but that is an achievement in itself the Normandy is going to sit in our cap because he knows it's going to give them an advantage. And I'm going to try and put some torpedoes out here again and hope that we can pick up potentially a Kraken. So the torpedoes are on the way and I can see the carriers taking his planes in again. That guy has damaged Condis fire. I want this kill for Kraken, but no, the Ranger picks up the kill. Yeah, so there's a cracking gun for me. It is even Stevens, the Shanhorst, who was also feeling brave pushing in. He is now without any support because the cruiser and the carrier are at the back of the map. The Vorkulin is being hounded. And Jester, can't remember what destroyer he's in. I think it's an American DD, so gunboat, short-range torpedoes. Um... He has pulled back to the sender and he was, I think, trying to get some torps onto that Sharnhorst. But it's me that's spotting it by the looks of it. Sharnhorst realizes that he needs to survive and is going to turn and run. Our Vorkwillin has like zero health left on him. Um, so, yeah, he's pushed a flank and he sat on a cap and he's died for it. The other destroyer there, Jester, um, he's popped smoke, he's pulling back, he's taking some hits, and I'm like, we need to kill something, or get onto their cap for a full cap to win this game. 
the carrier has gone from the left side of the minimap all the way to the right, but he is too far away. It has taken too long to get his planes in to action to help us. It is not looking good, really, is it? We're what, 80 points down now? Something like that? It's desperate. It's desperate. Sean Horst is running. Sometimes it makes sense to run. This guy knows that they've got the game in the bag. All he has to do is pull back and survive. Now me, the game's not over. There might be less than two minutes on the clock, but I'm faster than the Scharnhorst. His engine's out. We're going to try a shot across the top there, try and land a fire. And we do. That's a little bit extra damage. I'm coming up on the mic and I'm saying, look, we either kill this guy or we lose the game. It, it's winner or bin it, you know. We can we can YOLO and uh, try and go guts of glory for a Kraken. It's a Scharnhorst. He's got secondaries. He's got torpedoes. He's probably on about a 20-second reload. Any battleship captain in his right mind with two destroyers and a carrier left in the game is going to have high explosive loaded. We're only on 52,000 damage, but... It's low damage, four kills, but it's four destroyers. There's less than a minute on the clock now. Now, this Scharnhorst could be heading straight south for all I know. And I hate torpedoing from the rear. It gives them far too much time to react. But I'm going to try and come as fast as I can around this corner, get my guns on, see what I can do. There he is. We light him up with a torpedo indicator. He turns straight away. He's got AP loaded. That was your biggest mistake of this game, Scharnhorst. The other destroyer is being hounded. The carrier knows that if he kills him, that they've definitely got the win. But my torpedoes are on the way. Scharnhorst secondaries are popping at me. I'm going to turn into him. That's a Confederate. That's a Kraken. 12 seconds left on the clock. We're up by 25 points and that's it and i'm saying stay alive three seconds two seconds one second that is game over and an absolute clutch win for blue team only eighty four and a half thousand damage but we get our five kills including all four red team destroyers we get the kraken confederate and a dev strike 2664 base XP, which is a good game, a solid game. 1200 base XP, um, higher than second place on the team. And there's our friend of the Benson down in fourth place. I really do hope you've enjoyed watching this one. It is a bit of a comeback battle, which is quite appropriate given the time off that I've had from the game. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't done so, please do subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends as well. Stick around. Click one of these links. Watch another video. We're on our way to 800 subscribers. So let's see if we can get there. Until next time, take care of yourselves. It's good to be back.